in the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi. I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. And one major rule change this year, the addition of the reset timeout. It's something that's been around in the G League for a while, and it's worked really well there. So they brought it to the W. Yeah, I've enjoyed it in the G League, and I know it'll be an awesome new wrinkle for the WNBA. Here we go. And it's the Lynx to start out. Now here's Williams, covered by Ionescu. Pass to McBride. Smith. Here's Collier. Ooh, no luck on that one. Some solid defense from Brianna Stewart. Now here is Ionescu. The basket good off the assist from Jonquel Jones. Given Ionescu's soft touch around the rim, defenses have to be extra careful about letting her inside. Pass to Carlton. And here's Smith. Shot clock at six. Now Williams, covered by Ionescu. Courtney Williams, and that's good. You know, there are certain players who shoot much better off the pass. Williams is one of them. Allows her to set her feet. And Tim, we know success isn't always linear. Just look at Alana Smith. She's a perfect example of that. It took her a few years to claim her spot in the league. Well, she was a, a top 10 pick back in 2019. She shot under 20% as a rookie. Alana was out of the league, but she had a great 2023. The Australian finishing third and most improved player voting, and she has uh, really got a spot in the league now. And the ball movement by Williams, excellent at finding her teammates in spots where they can score. Here's Laney Hamilton. Not a lot of room. That shot wide open. I mean, that shot just becomes effortless for her when the defense is so relaxed like that. Now here's Collier. Defended by Stewart. Courtney Williams for three. And the Lynx, another three. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Just trading punches from long range. It's been a heavyweight fight. Now here's Laney Hamilton. Ionescu up top. Let's go. Here's Stewart. Nice D from Nafisa Collier. Bodied her up and made her alter the trajectory of the shot that time. Definitely. Some very sound defense played on that trip down. Here's Williams. She's got six. Collier outside. The three is up. Sabrina Ionescu with the rebound. She may have been surprised to find herself so open. And maybe that's why she missed. Outside, Laney Hamilton. Thebish. Pass to Ionescu. Here's the three. Offensive rebound. Stewart. Misses from close range. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the rim. On an open look like that, she's just got a gift for making the weak coverage pay. That's a surprising miss. Uh, she's almost always deadly when she's that open, even from way downtown. Now here is Ionescu. Eight points for her. Here's Stewart. And she buries that one, throwing the rim on the way down. She's got so many tricks in her bag, she will find a way to hurt you. Well, back in the early 2010s, the Lynx went on one of the best runs we've ever seen. And forget, you know, WNBA, we're talking one of the best runs in American pro sports history. From 2011 to 2017, four titles, six final appearances, sustained excellence we haven't seen since. Good on the bucket. A do-it-all player. I mean, inside, outside. Collier can score from anywhere on the floor. Here's New York now. Here's Laney Hamilton. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Stewart, covered by Collier. Ionescu outside. And a great assist by Brianna Stewart as that one goes in. A lethal sniper from outside the arc. The D 
has to rush Ionescu and run it off that three-point line. Now here's Williams. She's got six. Collier can't get it to go. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Laney Hamilton with it. Now guarded by Smith. It's hauled in by Smith. The Lynx trailing. Williams with it. To the paint. Shots good by Smith. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the Liberty up one. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And off we go. A close game, now entering the second quarter. And taking a look at the Liberty performance here. Guys, what are your thoughts? It's been a long-range battle for them, and one they are winning. Some sharp shooting from deep, a uh, big part of why they're up. Here's Vandersloot. Thornton outside. Pass to Burke. Now here's Jones. Shot clock at five. Fires for three. Minnesota grabs the miss. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Here's Andalassini. Pass to McBride. Goes up with the stripe. Misses off the left iron. Great look. Disappointing miss. What happened there? I mean, that, that shot's almost as good as automatic. I don't know. Here's Vandersloot. Thornton outside. Jones covered by Heinz Allen. No good with the wing jumper. It's very dangerous to leave her open like that. Lucky break for the D that she missed it. And former MVP John Paul Jones made a finals appearance in her first season with the Liberty. Yeah, and she also led the Sun to the finals while she was in Connecticut. And Jones, just the ideal stretch big. 6'6", great length, about 38% from three over her career. If you have Jones on your team, you're going to win a lot of games. And that one good. The catalyst of the team... McBride is dependent on for buckets, and I'll tell you, she usually delivers. Now here is Thornton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Pass to Vandersloot. Puts up the three. And the Liberty get it back. Sobbly with it. Juhas is there. Five on the clock. Vandersloot outside. It's good from long range. I love when Vandersloot lets it fly without hesitating. This is where she's most dangerous. Fast is on Delazzini. On the wing, Kayla McBride. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Here's Thornton. Oh! the basket she was fouled and she's going to the line for one more you know we try to not play favorites but the truth is we're all fans here so guys who is your favorite player to watch this is easy i gotta go with sabrina yanescu who's also from my hometown of walnut creek she plays so unselfish but also has an amazing three-point shot so she can score in bunches 
And I'm a big Kelsey Plum fan. You know, I love players who can shoot, and Kelsey certainly can do that. But she also has other parts of her game that are very good. And of course, I mean, lefties, they just make everything look better. Well, Kayla Thorne loves these freebies, and she's able to contribute a lot for her team. Pass to Carlton. Now here's Collier. The screen by Smith. Six on the shot clock. Shoots a fader. Tries again. And the layup is up and in. A tenacious rebounder. Smith's able to do that because of her height and heart. Well, New York won that 2020 lottery. And their prize, man, it was a great one. Sabrina Ionescu. Well, she was the first piece, right? And she endured some tough times. But her talent and overall play helped attract Brianna Stewart, John Quell Jones, and other key players. Little bit of physicality from Thornton, getting her shot to go. Collier outside. Inside, over Thornton. Collier gets the bucket. Crafty password, getting it down low for the easy deuce. New York in the lead. Now Vandersloot. Stewart, covered by Smith. They grab their own miss. Three-pointer Sabrina Ionescu. Tries yet again. And Stewart, the lay-in, gets good. What a hustle play by Stewart. Picks up the trash and puts it in the can. She has such a motor. Now here's McBride. Collier outside. Bangs home the trifecta. Good password. The assist was right on target. And here is Vandersloot. Ionescu outside. Over McBride. The shot by Ionescu, no good. About three seconds between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Williams. On the wing, Kayla McBride. Screen by Smith. Here's McBride. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. The shot misses. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Liberty. They lead by a bucket. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break, and we'll see if one can pull away in the third. And you look at Ionescu, what a contribution. She put on a show from three-point range in the first half. We'll see if the halftime break had any cooling effect on her. Well, we'll soon find out, because I guarantee they're going to keep feeding her the rock beyond the arc until she does cool off. And it's been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. Now here's Laney Hamilton. Looking for her first basket still in this one. What a terrific night for Sabrina Nescu showing off her abilities as a natural born scorer. And for Sabrina Ionescu, her three-point shooting took a massive leap in year four. Well, you know, it's something Ionescu has worked very hard on. You look at her first three years in the league, she shot just 33% from deep. But year four, that percentage shot up to 45%, and it was on major volume. Sabrina leading the WNBA in three-pointers made. And the basket by Ionescu. Gotta love Ionescu's intensity, delivering an emphatic answer. 
inside. And the layup's good off the glass. When she gets it in her head that she's going to score, it's very hard for the defense to do anything about it. Outside, Laney Hamilton. Pass to Stewart. Rebounded by Nafisa Collier. The Lynx trailing. Now here's Smith. Guarded by Jones. Shots good by Smith. An intimidating interior presence. Smith uses her toughness to get her way down low. New York timeout, calls timeout. timeout. One thing about Nafisa Collier, she's great at many things. She's not a specialist. She's well-rounded. Well, how about this? I mean, she's been top 10 in the league in scoring, rebounding, steals, blocks. I mean, that's four of the five major food groups. She can do everything at a high level. Here's Jones. Quiet so far offensively, searching for first points of the game. Ionescu outside. New York, no good that time either. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into, letting her get that wide open. Now here's Collier. 12 points for her. Nafisa Collier draws the double team. Courtney Williams for three. They get the rebound. For the lead. And Nafisa Collier with the three. A steady shooter from beyond the arc. Collier's presence on the floor helps space it. A big asset for this team. And in 2023, Minnesota finished as the sixth seed with a record of 19 and 21. Well, Minnesota missed the playoffs in 2022, which ended their 11-year postseason streak. But they regrouped, and in 2023, they took the Sun the full three games in the first round, almost pulling off the huge upset. But what was most important was getting back to the postseason. Now here's Jones. Pass to Ionescu. From past the arc. That one falls and a nice feed from Laney Hamilton. She is just bombing it today. How many more threes are we going to see from her? Well, we've already seen a lot. I mean, she's got more points from outside the yard than inside the yard. And it's good for two. A player who can get creative offensively. Let's just say Smith knows what to do inside. Ionescu outside. Fires the three. Another miss by Sabrina Ionescu. Williams with it. Now guarded by Ionescu. Here's Smith. Rebounded by Feebish. She's a very strong finisher, guys. I'm surprised that she wasn't able to power that through the defense. And that one's good. A shot like that is in Stewart's comfort zone. And that's just a result of her determination and really more so her confidence.
Minnesota calls a timeout. the links with it. Yeah, four point game. Collier outside. And again, no good by Minnesota. Andersloot outside. Six to shoot. on the shot. Figuring out ways to score inside at 5-8. Vandersloot has multiple ways to finish. Pass to Collier. The three ball. Gets that one through the hole. Makes her 7 for 13 this game. Well, the D sagged off and no hesitation on her part to rise up and bury the three. Shot and game clock separated by five. Back to Thornton. Stolen by Heinz Allen. Here's Zandalasini. Defended by Stewart. Pass to Heidemann. For three and a piece of Collier. Some fireworks to finish the quarter. That three ties it up as we go to the fourth. And we wrap up the third, and it looks to be an exciting fourth. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. Here's Heidemann. Right side, Heinz Allen. And no good, had a chance to take the lead. Hamilton with it. Thornton left side over Heinz Allen. And the Liberty getting another bucket right there. The ability to read pick and rolls is important. Thornton showing there that she possesses this really difficult understanding. Now here's McBride. Pass to Heinz Allen. Back to McBride. From the high post. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. You love to see that offensive mindset from McBride, and fans are rarely disappointed with her intensity. Here's Ionescu. For three. Rebound by Juhas. Down low, Heinz Allen. That falls. Great assist by Kayla McBride. 
Well, just with fantastic touch around the rim. Heinz Allen, you call her a finisher down low. Outside, Laney Hamilton. Back to Vandersloot. Ionescu. And a miss there on the triple. Right outside. Tipped away. Pass to Heidemann. Down to five on the shot clock. Juhas. Right outside. Over Ionescu. McBride misses. The shot was there for her. She had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. Now here's Vandersloot. Now Sobel. Lays it up and banks it in. The floor general sensibilities of Vandersloot on full display. Awesome job finding the wide open time teammate. Out, time out. I'm called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. And you look at Ionescu. What a contribution. She is absolutely on fire. They need to regroup, figure out a way to cool her down during this timeout. Touch under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. Crawler outside. Smith guarded by Jones. Clock at six. Here's Smith. And the Lynx miss again. Pass to Ionescu. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter now. From the arc, buries the long-range jumper. What a huge basket. Ionescu is at her best in the game's biggest moments. Now here's Williams, covered by Ionescu. Back to Collier. Count it. With that bucket, she is now 9 for 15 from the floor. Yeah, Collier shoots it with reckless abandon, putting it all on the line to produce her team. Pass to Phoebish. Back to Leany Hamilton. Ionescu outside. From deep. And again, it's the Liberty from deep. This is her game. Ionescu is a scorer and stays active on offense. We love her confidence. Outside Williams, now Poe. Pass to Collier. Tries it from the top of the key, and it's Minnesota scoring again. I respect Collier's ability to show poise under pressure. You don't always see that from younger players. Yescu up top. She's guarded by Williams. Here's Phoebish. Back to Leaney Hamilton. No good 
from outside. Now the Lynx with it. Trailing by two. To the middle. The kick out to Williams. Screen by Smith. To the inside. Baseline J on the way. That's short off the rim. And they commit the intentional foul. And we'll see another one of those so that they can get him to the penalty. Yeah, they had to do that. You just can't let them dribble it out. Definitely. Got to stop the clock any way possible. And just hope they short arm a few of their free throws. It's a good foul. And it's a good point in this situation to, to make them hit their shots. Second team foul. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so she drops them both, and it's a four-point ball game. And that makes it a two-possession game. Those could turn out to be vital free throws. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. Time is the big factor here. You need to get the points fast and then foul. Yeah, Tim, and it has to be a quick foul. Every second is critical at this stage. Yeah, they cannot waste any time if they want to come back. For three, Nafisa Collier buries it. Shot brings them within just one. Love the confidence from Collier. She knows she can knock it down to the And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. No other option, though. They did a good job getting it in her hands and making sure she was the one to go to the line. Put them up too. The second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a three-point game. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. Minnesota calls a timeout. There's still time left, so they don't necessarily need to go for the three. They think you get an easy bucket inside. I'm not so sure. There's not a whole lot of time to play around with. I think they look for the three and try to tie this thing up. Yeah, you could do that. I think the quick two might be the better play. Let's see what they do. Good work defensively by Brianna Stewart. And an intentional foul right there.
free throw is good. And that gives them a four-point cushion. So she goes two for two at the line. And it's a five-point game. No mistakes there. And I think you can close the book on this one, guys. Yeah, so it's New York winning this one. This one was up for grabs right until the dying second. And you know, I think what stood out was they showed their character when it mattered. Doing what it had to be done to send these fans home happy. That'll do it for our broadcast every.